Okay, so when we're finding uh, a fraction of kinetic energy, of course we're going to be working with the kinetic energy formula that, uh, the kin that Ke is equal to ha 1 half mv squared. But in this particular case, since the balls we're dealing with are of equal mass, that makes our numbers a little bit easier to work with, since we can disregard math, math for the most part. And uh, here's what I mean by that. So, at the start, when the ball, one of the balls is at rest, like th they usually are in these problems for some reason, so our total ki uh, kinetic energy at the start is going to be just uh, the kinetic energy of the one object, which in this case is going to be one half, I'm going to call it ma uh, times v squared, so 8.3 squared. And this is equal to our total kinetic energy at first which in turn is then equal to um, uh, the two different objects that are now moving. So first of all, uh, of the first object, now a now um, the, uh, the velocity of the second ball is now changed to 7.1 meters per second. Now what this tells us, since the masses are not changing and only the velocities are changing, that is how, that is where that lost um, f uh, kinetic energy is going to come from. Since, remember, because of the law of conservation of energy, the momentum is not going to change. The total momentum is not going to change. So since the masses are all not, are all remaining constant, the, uh, the velocities are going to be all the more easier to figure out since the sums are just going to be the same. So in this case, if one of the balls now has 7.1 meters per second, then the new velocity of the next one is just going to be equal to the difference between the two, which in this case, 8.3 minus 7.1, that's just 1.2. So 1.2 squared is our new velocity of the second ball, uh, while the kinetic energy of the of ball B is going to be 1 half m and, I'm, and since we know that ma equals mb, since they're of equal mass, I'm just going to say ma to make things a little easier to read, times uh, 7.1 squared for final velocity, for uh, velocity in that ball. And since we just have three ma's here, we can just cross them all out. And thus we're left with uh, what we have now. So one half of 8.3 squared is just going to be equal to... Um, 34.445 joules on that side, and on the other, on the right side here, we have the sum of one half of uh, 1.2 squared plus uh, 0.5 7.1 squared. And putting this into your calculator, the sum you'd get for that would be 25.9. To five joules, and obviously these two numbers are not equal to one another, so we are losing some stuff here. So subtracting this value from the other would get us uh, a difference of 8.52. Uh, so that is how much energy is being lost, and it's looking for a fraction. So we're going to put that over the original total amount of kinetic energy, 34.44. Five, which putting that into your calculator gets you a number which you can round to 0 0.25.